Hi you all, this is Rosa bringing you Dear Families, a docuseries dedicated to the study and observation of the wild white-tailed deer that live in the rapidly developing town my home is in. Here we have Wes, who has been away the last few weeks for rut, the mating season, but he has come back and with him is his son, little Wes. They look so similar, it is uncanny. And then behind little Wes is Kyla's baby, Kyle, who is doing really well after a rough two weeks. Prior to Halloween this year, he was attacked by either an unsocialized dog or a wild cat or a coyote. And the last two weeks I spent time giving him care through good nutrition. I gave him apples and carrots and grapes and peanuts to help him get through those rough periods because he came to my door with his mom and I thought that would help him heal, getting good vitamins. And he did, with the help of his mother cleaning his wounds. He had terrible wounds. The animal dug out the antlers that are growing in and they've healed miraculously, but he, it was just bloody holes. And also had dug into his back and he was severely wounded, but he's healed the Healing abilities of these animals is just unbelievable. And the speed at which they heal is unbelievable. He was so badly injured that he could barely walk. He had a terrible limp. I think maybe the animal dug into his muscles and cut his muscles because his back legs were not working very well. But they healed miraculously. So he's a, he's a miracle baby deer because he's been attacked twice. The first attack was when he was two weeks old by a predator. They're so small when they're just a couple weeks old. It could have been a hawk even trying to get him. He was terribly wounded from that attack. But he's healed and he's here. Healthy and He's, out of all the babies born this year, he is the alpha. After his attack, his alpha side disappeared and he was scared of everyone. But two weeks later, he's bounced back and he is still running the show for the baby deer. He's a lot more cautious now. And he sticks by his mom's side more than he used to after being attacked twice now. None of the other babies have been attacked. But Kyle over here is the most adventurous of all the babies. And he's very engaging with every living thing he meets. So I do think that made him more vulnerable for attack. Since he was born, he was trying to get into my house, which no other deer or wild animal has ever done that. But his first few days of life, he was at my front door wanting to come in, which I just could not believe. Most baby wild animals are cautious with people and do not want to enter their homes. So his very friendly personality has made him a little more vulnerable. And I hope he's cautious going forward. This 
last couple days or the first days he hasn't been by his mom's side he's giving her a little space now that he's not injured anymore and he's not traumatized he was traumatized right after the attack happened he came here right after the attack and he was just shaking and had a look of horror on his face and he was in a trauma state like that for about a week after the attack and then slowly he's gotten stronger and back to his old self there he goes he's gonna go back to his mom which always makes me happy because she's very protective of him and she's teaching him how to survive so it's good when he doesn't take too many risks away from his mom he's still really small and young to be taking the risks that he does so Wes's son is following him I really wanted to make this video just to show you all how similar they look. It is uncanny. Here's Wes right here and his son is just almost identical to him. It's amazing. Just a lot smaller and smaller antlers. Wes is one of the sweetest bucks I've ever met. He's an extra good uncle to all the babies around here. And I've made a few videos on that, how he's one of their coaches. And he always helps the mamas with their babies by protecting them and coaching the bugs, the baby bugs, how to use their antlers. So he's, he's an exceptionally good father figure in his herd. Just one of the sweetest living things I've met. And off he goes. I hope you all are having a great day and enjoying the nature and wildlife around you. Bye bye from Rosa with Deer Families.